Today on the channel, we enter the dragon with the heels and faces Bruce Lee retro figure. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for something a little bit different here today as today we got the heels and faces zombie sailor toys bruce lee retro style figure but of course for all your heels and faces needs heelsandfaces.com but for everything else under the sun hit up entertainment earth use discount code kyle save yourself 10 percent on all in stock items anything over 59 dollars does ship free got to get a deal out there and this is an interesting one did this go up for pre-order about a year ago i have totally lost track of time on this one even forgot that i ordered it so that's how crazy it's been there's been so many pre-orders not just from heels and faces but every company under the sun sometimes you kind of forget about some of these things and that's where i was with this bruce lee figure and very interesting to see bruce lee here in the heels and faces line as we do know them of course from wrestling figures is what we know. I guess wrestling adjacent, martial arts adjacent, whatever you want to call it, it's an interesting step into a different direction here. And I know a lot of collectors that collect this line say, I don't need Bruce Lee, I'm only collecting the wrestling portion of the line. That makes sense to me. And as of right now, though, I'd say, hey, there's only one figure right here. We're going to talk about that more here. Uh, but there's only one figure I felt like I would need it to be complete on the line. But if he goes all in and makes tons and tons of stuff outside of wrestling in this line, I could see people and myself include saying, okay, I don't need this. I don't need that. That's the way it would go. So you got to choose your own adventure, as we always say. And we're going to choose our own adventure with this unboxing as we're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And Bruce Lee, what can you say about Bruce Lee? Everybody knows Bruce Lee in one form or another. Maybe you grew up watching him as Kato on, of course, the Green Hornet back in the day. That's where I was first introduced to him as a little kid in Green Hornet reruns. Um, some people know him, of course, Enter the Dragon, the martial arts movies. Some know him just uh, kind of the pop culture references and things. Some know him from action figures, maybe. But Bruce Lee, an all-timer out there in pop culture, I guess you could say. And we've had a lot of Bruce Lee figures over the years. We had Diamond Select. We've had Super 7. Now we got Heels and Faces. So if you're a Bruce Lee fan, there's enough stuff for you to collect. There's no doubt about it. And Zombie Sailor must be a big fan of Bruce Lee to dive into the line and dive into his action figures uh, in this line. So very interesting. But let's dive into it. I guess I will show first. I did get this little Bruce Lee card here. It shows kind of the artwork and stuff. I believe this was for like the people that pre-order right away or something. Totally forgot about this, but it was in the package there. I'm not sure if all of them came with this or just some of them, uh, but here it is. I'll have a little picture for it. So if you're into that kind of thing, another thing to collect, I guess, from Zombie Sailor. But we do got Bruce Lee on card. Now the carding, just like heels and faces, feels like heels and faces, all that kind of fun stuff. Plastic bubble holding the figure down. Beautiful Bruce Lee right there. I uh, got Bruce Lee with Bruce Lee logo at the top. Now, nothing crazy going on, nothing wild going on as far as tying this into wrestling. This is a sub line off to the side. No wrestling adjacent, no wrestling promotion. It's like uh, wrestling doesn't exist with this one, which isn't probably a bad thing, of course. It does say ages 18 and up. Mark Summers on the couch. Yes, that Mark Summers from the One Man Show off Broadway currently. Uh, one of our favorite guests here on the couch. Uh, he handles all the uh, troubled kids out here that want to touch these toys. And man, you got to find 17 year olds. Say, this 17 year old, this is too dangerous for you. Sure, that's part of legalities and things, putting 18 up on this. You're skirting some kind of law. That's the only thing I could think of because, I don't know, can you tell me a 13 year old couldn't handle this okay? I don't know. I don't know. It's a wild thing. Wild thing. Heels of Faces, Zombie Sailor Toys. Got Bruce Lee's autograph right there. Some may say he personally signed every single one of these before they went out of the factory. Or that could be a total lie. I wouldn't fact check it, but it's up to you, of course. On the back, that's where it gets interesting. We see three Bruce Lee figures over there. So is the line continuing? It looks like we're going to have a whole Bruce Lee sub-series going on. Would be very interesting to know how many of these actually sold. Because let's be honest, when we think Zombie Sailor, we think heels and faces, you think wrestling. You don't necessarily think Bruce Lee. How good of a job did he market to Bruce Lee fan groups, Bruce Lee Facebook groups, stuff like that? I don't know because I'm not in those groups, but... Did the average Bruce Lee or the hardcore Bruce Lee fan know this even existed? Is there enough meat on the bone for more Bruce Lees? There's a lot of people that'll say, okay, I grabbed one. 
Do I need more? We've seen that with Super 7. So it'll be interesting to see where this whole thing goes just from a business hat perspective. We'll see where it goes. But we do get some jibber jabber down low. You got the file card going on. UPC, Zombie Sailor Point, all that kind of stuff. It does say, remember, success is a journey. That's true. Not a destination. Have faith in your ability. You will do just fine. I'm sure somebody needed to hear that out there today. Collect them all. It does say Bruce Lee Bloody. That's uh, what we're dealing with right here. Bruce Lee Tracksuit, a very famous outfit, of course. Bruce Lee Dragon. Ron Rudat jumping into the Bruce Lee train here, as we do know as well. Uh, it does say follow ZST on social media. Bruce Lee, one zombie sailor point. Bruce Lee, height five foot seven. He's just a little guy. He's a little guy. Weight 135 pounds from USA and Hong Kong. How could you be from both? How? How does he do it? The cultural icon of righteousness and box office record breaker made martial arts what it is today. Bruce Lee's legacy of self-expression, equality, and pioneering innovation continues to inspire people all around the world. Creator of Jeet Kune Do, the way of the intercepting fist. Oh my gosh, watch out. Harnessing explosive speed and strength, carrying a powerful one-inch punch capable of sending men back to their seats. Yes, their seats. And if you're standing, you're going to go back to that seat. That's what's going to happen. But an interesting one here. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Do I need these other two? I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I have to think about that. Kind of want to just stick to wrestling. So we'll see. This one's more of a science experiment. Like a young Beatman's world, of course. What? Oh, Mark Summers over there. He says Bill Nye, the science guy. I was a Beatman guy. At the end of the day, we can all agree Mr. Wizard was the best, I think. Mr. Wizard was. Shout out to old Mr. Wizard. See you later. Right off the screen. Watch out. Coming in hot right there. We've got the Zombie Sailor Toys, Heels and Faces, Bruce Lee out of the package here. And right off the bat, I would say I know this is Bruce Lee. Obviously a cartoony-ish look to Bruce Lee here. But I definitely would know that haircut in the face. So it does look like Bruce Lee in the face. He does got those scratches on there. Vicious battle, of course. Uh, never forget his battles against one Chuck Norris or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh my gosh, some of the most epic battles of all time. But looks very good. Black hair looking nice. Of course, no shirt on for Bruce Lee. Uh, he's ready to go. He's ready to fight. He's all cut up. He's ready to go. Got the scratches on the chest, scratches on the stomach, scratches on the back. Looks like he fought a tiger is what it looks like. Uh, we do get the, of course, karate pants. We'll call them karate pants and karate shoes going on. Got those ninja slippers going there. A little bit of white action there. Uh, but not a ton of stuff going on. It is just Bruce Lee. But he is... He's ready to pounce. He's ready to go. He's ready in that fighting stance. He's got the fist of fury over here. He's got the hand going on over here. He's just ready to battle. He's ready to take on anybody. Of course, head side to side, back and forth. Arm all the way around. Same thing with the other one. You do get waist articulation. Nothing going on on the legs there. So it is what it is. It is Bruce Lee. He's ready to go. He's ready to take on the world if he needs to. Looking pretty good. I do have a Matt Cardona figure handy right here. So another Heels and Faces Zombie Sailor toy. So we can finally have that blood feud. Matt Cardona versus Bruce Lee that so many people have been clamoring for for many years. Now you can reenact that at home. Get a ring. Get it ready to go. Who do you got? Matt Cardona or Bruce Lee? It's going to be an all-time battle. There's no doubt about it. Uh, about two Bruce Lees almost equal one Matt Cardona. That's uh, the wild thing about that. But you got the speed over here. Maybe you got the strength over here. Who knows? It could be a pick 'em, or maybe it's all Bruce Lee all day long. But very cool. Once again, heels and faces always delivering the quality aspects. Really good quality for this one. A very nice figure. It gets the point across. It gets the message across for what it's trying to do, being a Bruce Lee figure. So you can't really have too much about this. The only gripe you could have is maybe the long wait time for this. And I get that. I understand that in this day and age. Uh, but still is a very good figure. And if you're all in on Bruce Lee, you love Bruce Lee, this is probably a pickup for you. There's probably a lot of wrestling fans, a lot of heels and faces collectors out there that grab this one saying, well, I'm just collecting the line. I'm going to grab this for now. They're going to see the other two on the back of the package and say, okay, maybe I'm rethinking this. Maybe I won't get those other two. I have to imagine in the grand scheme of things, those other twos will be a lot more rare than this one is. We'll see what ends up happening there, though. Uh, but a very interesting figure, no doubt. And it would be interesting to see where this line goes. As we're taking one step outside of wrestling right now, where does it go from here? Could we see UFC figures? Could we see other martial arts greats? Could we get Death Wish figures? Could we get Paul Kersey? Could we get something like that? We'll see what happens in this retro game. It's a wild game with literally things being announced from all these different companies every single day. It's very hard to keep track of, let alone outside of wrestling. 
like Bruce Lee is. But it'd be interested to hear your thoughts on this Bruce Lee figure. If it's a pickup, it's a pass, a long game, a no game, you know how it goes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And you made it this far, you might as well thumbs up the video. Always helps the channel when you like the old videos. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and my other YouTube channel. Check out Patreon for early access to both YouTube channel videos, plus tons of bonus content over there every single day. Appreciate the support. You can also go to ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. And then, of course, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Bruce Lee, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.